TMYTAC paved the path for greater connectivity in people's everyday life. Our mission is to improve your daily life with millimeter wave solutions and technologies. We aim to accelerate innovations that connect the future. Connect, connect the, the future, future with, with us. us. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us at TMYTAC Solution Day 2022. My name is Su Wei Zhang, and I'm the founder and president of TMI Tech. Today, we are going to show you a pioneering MN Wave technology, and you will have a deep understanding of what MN Wave technology can do with our future vision for the world. We are experiencing a rapid information exchanges due to a new technologies such as the metaverse quantum computers. 5G, LEO, and autonomous vehicles. During the past three pandemic years, the demand for communication technologies has skyrocketed. Energy and MN wave technologies are the two most critical infrastructures to support those applications and turn them into realities. For quite some time now, MN wave technology has served an important sensor in radar applications. In the field of satellite communications, which includes GEO, MIO, and LEO, the MN wave has always been and continues to be a popular spectrum. In addition, 5G new radio makes MN wave spectrum available in mobile technologies. FR2 frequency bands covers frequencies between 24 to 43 gigahertz. It clearly shows that MM wave will become the most commonly used spectrum in the next decade. Today, with TMY Tech, we want to show you the insight of MM wave technologies. In the next 90 minutes, we will demonstrate our cutting edge products and technologies. Our objective is to bring the world closer, regardless of the industry you work in or if you are an academic. TMY Tech aspires to earn your trust and provide the highest quality of services and solutions possible. Looking at NN Wave industry flywheel, we have three steps for building momentum, R&D, max production, and max deployment. TMY Tech offers solutions for each step to overcome the constraints today you will know how we assist engineers in realizing their ideas, how much time our OTS solution can save, and why our face array antenna helps operators to save their money. With our ecosystem partners and the best Taiwanese supply chain, that includes Dupang, NI, Keysight, iTech, and win semiconductor. TMI Tech, we provide one-stop shop total solution. This provides our customers with the best total cost of ownership while also accelerating time to market. We collaborate with our clients to thoroughly understand their inquiries and scenarios. With our expertise and experience, we can assist our clients in defining product standards. We can ensure and provide our clients with our face array antennas by using our cutting edge MM Wave OTA solutions, XBIN. Our XBIN technology 
has already received patents in United States, Japan, and Taiwan. I'm certain you will learn more throughout today's demonstration. We have collaborated with Tupang for groundbreaking LTCC solution for face array antenna and passive MM wave components, such as MM wave filters. This year, we have presented the largest single panel LTCC ESA with 12 by 12 centimeter square. I'm sure you will be amazed by our accomplishment. We have more than 25 distributors across 15 countries to guarantee that you can have our best support and service on time. If you want more direct assistance and information, we also offer an excellent online supporting system for demonstration and training. While concentrating on MM Wave technology, we collaborate closely with our partners, such as Keysight and National Instruments, to offer you with a complete solution. We will be there as soon as you need us. Are you excited about today's event? Fasten your seatbelt and let's take you on a 90 minute journey. Hi, Ethan. Hello. How are things going? Good. Please allow me to introduce my partner, Ethan. He is the co-founder and vice president of TMY Tech. He is also the captain today, and he will pilot you through today's journey. I will see you later. Hello, everyone. My name is Ethan. I am in charge of product roadmap and business development. Today, it gives me a great pleasure to demonstrate the most advanced and comprehensive millimeter wave solution we built for 5G and satellite communications. In recent years, we've continued to provide solutions to address the issues in 5G millimeter wave and satellite communications. Today, we are going to show you five cutting edge options. In addition to the world's first millimeter wave array antenna testbed, we will demonstrate high power ESA testbed design for satellite communications. Showcase the most adaptable millimeter wave communication R&D platform, an ultra fast over the air testing solution, and a comprehensive toolkit design for engineering academics. You will see how efficient TMI Tech upgraded array antenna testbed can assist 5G antenna designer in validating their creations, particularly beamforming performance. A real-world implementation of silicon compound hybrid to build 78 dBm ERP phase array will be introduced. With our millimeter wave R&D platform, you get a transmission distance over 100 meters with fantastic EVM performance of 2.5%. x 2 d a real-time beam pattern assessment system, will be demonstrated. You will see how our educational solution can save your time on courseware preparation while teaching students about the nature of millimeter wave technologies. In millimeter wave wireless communication, an active antenna is required. Active antenna includes not only passive antenna, but also more RF components, including power amplifier, low noise amplifier, phase shifter, and more. In comparison to sub-6 gigahertz system, engineers need a more advanced verification approach to shorten R&D cycle and to accelerate the time to market. Tobias Huang, our Beamformer product manager, will demonstrate how TMI Tech solution can assist a 5G antenna engineer in their daily R&D activities. Thank you, Ethan. I believe all of you now are excited about what we have in stock to share with you. As you know, the phase array is one of the key components in 5G system. Most of the time, it contains an active circuit and the antenna parts. Let's talk about the antenna. 
The phase array design and verification are complicated process. You need to go through various stages, such as single patch design, trace layout, overall array simulation, material selections, and so on. But the verification process after acquiring the antenna from the manufacturer is what every antenna designer wants to focus on. And that's where TMY Tech can help. Can you recall those frustrating days and nights when you stress over the verification? Are you still trying to construct your own MMWave testbed solution with active components such as PAs, LNAs, phase shifters? You need to find a way to calibrate the whole system to make sure every single piece is working in harmony. Or sometimes, you try to create your own specific testing procedure via LabVIEW, MATLAB, Python, etc. For products, the verification process is the most important task before you lock down your design. For antenna, you need to verify each element in phase array and measure them as perfectly as your design. You may check the S parameter for the return loss, passive gain, radiation patterns for a single patch. Finally, the beamforming technique is used to ensure the performance of the antenna in the chamber by controlling active circuits. In conclusion, an integrated active circuit seems to be the key. It should be easy to connect to your own antenna using standard connectors and easy to switch channel power and tune the gain and the phase for verification procedures. We believe you are fed up with setting up these components. MTMI Tech is here to offer you a more effective and efficient solution. The BBOS 1 from TMI Tech is a simple box that contains everything you need for antenna design verification. A 16-channel box integrated with PAs, LNAs, phase shifters, and a TR switch for each channel. The OP1 dB of each channel is 12 dBm, with maximum input power of 2 dBm, typically. Also 15 dB tunable range. The IP1 dB is minus 21 dBm when in receive mode. All channels are calibrated to in-phase and gain so that you can tune the gain and phase in dBs and degrees, not in digital steps. For beamforming radiation patterns, we also create an abstract layer in software to help you calibrate your antenna design. For example, there may be path loss or phase distortion from connectors or PCB traces. TMI Tech has placed those factors into consideration and will be compensated in our software. Sounds cool, right? We believe BBOS1 could be a powerful tool for design verifying, energy and time saving that allows you to focus on your own works. If you want to do more, such as create your own auto task procedure with Active Circuit, we have an API fully integrated with LabVIEW, MATLAB, Python, and other popular programming languages. Let's talk about controlling methods. We have the TMX Lab Kit, which is an extremely intuitive control suite for operation. You can switch channel power, gain, phase easily and verify your antenna using different frequencies. You can save your own channel settings for specific beam patterns and recall the process using our TMX lab kit. TMY Tech also designed an A kit to fit into this system. Its beam pattern can be used as a reference. Isn't it amazing? Now, success story from our customers. I am Guan Long Huang from Fosan University, China. Currently, I am a professor in this university and also the director of Smart Antenna and Microwave Engineering Center. I have more than 10 years of research and design experience in antenna and microwave engineering. In recent years, our team endeavored to millimeter wave antenna design, especially to investigate the antenna arrays beam forming and beam scanning capability. Before purchasing TMI Tech product, we are almost impossible to test the array's radiation performance in any core chamber. That's really a headache while developing 5G mm wave antenna array. Because each antenna element in the array should be properly phased, I've seen people using multiple microchip power divider with different output lengths to achieve phase difference for millimeter wave antenna array at a specific beam scanning angle, which means one has to fabricate multiple power dividers for different beam pointing. 
This is a tedious, time-consuming, and costly work. Before meeting TMI Tech Bean Boss 1, most of the published paper just present the antenna arrays being scanning, performing in the simulation, or in the form of post process results. It's very little to see real time testing data. Therefore, it really surprised me when I first contacted with TMI Tech in 2018. And the product of Bean Boss 1 impressed me about its sophisticated design and fantastic user experience. At the time I purchased this device, I believe I was the second university customer in mainland China. There are many benefits I have experienced during using this product. For instance, as a ready-to-use millimeter weight device which is hard to file in the market, currently TNY Boss and its series products are preferable devices to meet the demands of millimeter weight R&D and production line. Also, antenna designer can verify the design by directly docking antenna to Boss. 5G protocol developer can verify their pin checking algorithm. Meanwhile, a dedicated design GUI is easy to use. You can control phase and amplitude of each RF channel independently and empower antenna designer to conduct pin forming based on their designs. Software MVI is also provided to help production line automation and research environment setup. During many years of user experience with TMY tech products, by the way, currently I'm not only having BeamBoss 1, I also have other TMY tech products like UDBoss and 5G development kit. Apart from their excellent hardware design and friendly user interface, the most satisfying thing about using TMY tech products is their excellent customer service. They have professional experts to answer any of your concerns while conducting your project. During the communication, you can learn from them to improve your design, they also will listen to your suggestion to update their function. Such mutual learning progress can efficiently benefit both customer and supplier. I really recommend you to try their products if you are working in millimeter wave research. BeeBoss Enchantment, I believe, has been witnessed by our worldwide customers. BeeBoss is used by many face array designers. It can speed up the design and the verification process. In many user scenarios, it could be used to upgrade the chambers to major duty characteristics under millimeter wave bands. You know TMI takers are always there to help you resolve your problems. So don't be shy, please feel free to contact us. Consider the communication that takes place between satellite orbiting the Earth and terminals deploying on airplanes, ships, and automobiles. To overcome the losses introduced by space and weather, a very high transmitting power is required, so that reduced receiving power is still sufficient enough to achieve a satisfactory signal-to-noise ratio. Building an extremely high-power ESA, also known as Electronic Steering Array, it's a very challenging task. City Fang, our satellite product lead, will demonstrate a 78 dBm ERP ESA test bed, implemented by using hybrid technology. It offers excellent performance and attractive beam patterns, and much more. Let's put our hands together for CT. How would you like an electronically steerable high-power K-band transmission antenna for your SETCOM research project? If the answer is yes, then let me show you how to construct a 78 dBn URP transmission ESA using TMY Tax B-Box 1 and 4-channel solid-state power amplifier modules. Why is TMY Tech aiming to provide high-power microwave ESA solutions? Apart from 5G mm wave band, Satellite communication is another application filled with huge potential. SpaceX reduced the cost of launching satellites. It made LEO, SETCOM, viable and attractive, which is why so many tech giants are entering this market, including Starlink, Amazon, and Microsoft. 
The Leo Worldwide market is estimated to grow at a CAGR of 19.1% from 2020 to 2025. The Leo satellite orbit velocity can reach speeds as high as 25,000 km per hour. So, beam string latency and multi beam capability will be crucial. Traditional dish antennas with servo motors will have a hard time tracking LEO satellites and negotiating handovers. ESA technology for in-flight communications and ground terminals is key to LEO's penetration rate. TMY Tech is a Taiwan-based microwave RF front-end design company. We provide KU-band, KA-band ESA solutions for various SATCOM ground stations and we are ready for field trials by Q4 2022. TMY Tech welcomes any inquiries for a SATCOM ESA total solution. However, if you are performing microwave or SATCOM research and need a test-based solution, we have the perfect one for you. We have created the prototype electronically steered high-power K-band transmission antenna, and it can achieve up to 78 dBN ERP. The solution was created in about 4 weeks and at an affordable cost. In the next 5 minutes, we will show you how the antenna was created with 13 TMY tags, B-Box 1s, and 48 pieces of 4-channel SSPA modules. The first task is to calculate the link budget. To achieve 78 dBN ERP target, we have two choices. We can build an ESA with around 256 elements. Each channel has its OP1 dB around 32 dBn. To achieve output power, we put a 3 watt high efficiency Galen Arsenide power amplifier between the phase shifter and the patch antenna. With this design and calculation, we can achieve a 192 element transmission phased array. The simulated ERP is larger than 78 dBn. Since we are prototyping for a testbed, considering the availability of components, budget, and time, the following option may be more suitable. We can build an ESA composed of 2,000 elements. Each channel with 12 dBn OP1 dB output power, but this involves designing a new K band ESA with over 500 beamformer ICs. We will show you how fast we can deliver the prototype with TMY Tax products. We designed a tile based Y band 2x2 LTCC antenna covering the 26.5 GHz to 29.5 GHz range. LTCC stands for Low Temperature Coal Fire Ceramics and it is a durable, high performance, high decay, low DF material suitable for microwave antenna substrate or carrier boards. By grouping all 48 2x2 LTCC antenna modules with a single 12x9cm CNC alumni grounded plate, we have a 16 by 12 192 element phased array antenna. Its half power beam width is 6 degrees and the beam steering range is 22.5 degrees in four directions. This modular antenna design gives you the flexibility to scale to any array size and offers ease of maintenance. Also, we need to boost output power of each channel to 32 dBm. Our solution is composed of modularized SSPA. We found a proper 3-stage 3-watt Galen Arsenide pseudomorphic HEMT SSPA mimic IC, covering 26.5 GHz to 31.5 GHz range, with good power efficiency. Its P1 dB is 32 dBm and provides a 23 dB gain and we made a 4-channel SSPA module design for easy assembly. And it fits in most if not all cooling systems. Though it is already a very high power efficient SSPA, it still consumes up to 12 watt per IC. Then we look at DC power supply board. It is designed to supply the 4-channel SSPA module. It is also a modularized design. 
It provides one 12 volt power rail for one 4 channel SSPA module with a micro D sub connector. Its double sided design allows it to support two SSPA modules. Okay, after Bob components are prepared, we put together the antenna, PA modules, and B Box ones to build this KA band high power transmission ESA. The liquid cooling system is designed to keep all 48 SSPA modules as cool as possible. SSPA performance is highly related to its junction temperature. The challenge is to keep hotspot of each SSPA under 80 degrees Celsius in lab conditions. Keeping all 192 SSPA ICs at a uniform temperature is another big challenge. If the temperature gap is bigger than 10 degrees Celsius, it will be very difficult to compensate for the output power while keeping a high adjustable gain attenuation range. The 16 water pipes are made of CNC 6061 alumni alloy. Each one is attached to three SSPA modules with thermal interface materials. The water intake and output path are interlaced to keep the temperature gap as low as possible. Let's look at the final test result. The SSPA hotspot is kept under 60 degrees Celsius and the temperature gap is smaller than 5 degrees Celsius. We use TMOI Tax B-Box 1 as adjustable attenuators and phase shifters. To fully utilize 13 B-Box 1 devices, we designed software to virtualize 13 B-Box 1s into one 192-channel ESA. We can virtualize any number of TMOI Tax B-Box devices into multi-layer, large-scale phase shifters, and attenuator arrays of any size. For example, 17 B-Box 1 to form one 16 by 16 256 channel K-Band ESA prototype. And adjustable using the in-house developed 3D GUI. You can intuitively switch the beans or compose any bean you like. We tested it in an anechoic microwave chamber to verify its performance including ERP, array antenna gain, and beam steering capability. We measured the patterns of all different beams in four directions, and they matched the simulation results. Our solution is very fast for prototyping. Assembly can be done with test up and running within four weeks. The design is very flexible. Any size, 8x8, 16x8, 16x16, or 32x32 can be realized. And it is a very comprehensive and completed software integrated solution. It is a good choice for academic and research projects. If you're looking for a KU band, K band, K band, V band, ESA design for your commercial or even defense setcom applications, we're more than happy to support you. If our prototype inspires new ideas and you like to give it a shot, you know where to find us. TMY Tech always loves to help you to build your own novel concepts. Investigating propagation properties of millimeter wave transmission can help people answer questions like this. How many base stations do we need to cover this area? What's the impact of a rainy day on transmission distance? How can beams be managed in FR2 protocol so that the high directivity antenna nature won't impact the coverage? And so forth. Introducing Wen, an expert with a PhD in RF circuit and the product owner of frequency converters. He's going to demonstrate a 100 meter transmission in the field with our scalable and high performance millimeter wave R&D platform. After a series of introductions from components, devices to the subsystems, now let me introduce to you the system level R&D solution, a millimeter wave wireless communication development with TMY Tax product. If you are going to develop a millimeter wave wireless communication system, the biggest challenge is fading, which includes large-scale and small-scale fading. 
to minimize the fading effect, especially large scale fading, which is many pass lows, the front end system must have high directivity and good frequency conversion quality. The antenna array is a popular solution to achieve high directivity. And furthermore, beamforming is one of the most important and effective techniques. By using beamforming, the transmission angle of arrival can be electrically steered in different directions if needed. On the other hand, frequency conversion is a complex issue that you have to take into consideration. There are two main parts of frequency conversion, which are the local oscillator and the frequency converter. The most difficult thing is how to develop a good frequency conversion device. You have to pay attention to LO's quality, such as phase noise, harmonic, even the driving power of your frequency converter. Otherwise, control interface, synchronization, and regarding accessories are the things you have to pay attention to as well. How do we develop the millimeter wave wireless beamforming transmission? You can do this by using TMY tags B box and UD box. In this section, you will see a millimeter wave wireless communication demonstration based on 5G NRFR2 protocol with 64 core modulation and 100 MHz bandwidth. Therefore, you can conduct your research and development by using this architecture. First of all, here is the B box. As we know, B-Box is a single box beamforming device that allows you to control all the beamforming. Let's see how this works. We got the beam and we can control this device easily with our GUI. And then, here is the UD-Box. UD-Box takes care of all things you have to develop as an up and down converter, such as LO, control, synchronization, and frequency conversion. All you have to do is Connect the power and internet. Connect the RF and IF signals. Turn on the device and control it on our GUI, which is TMX lab kit. Finally, the system is all set and you have to check the system link for your situation. For system evaluation, some of the important parameters we should know like free space loss, power budget, noise budget, gain budget, DIRP, and TRP. And finally, the system characteristics are usually based on SNR and EVM. In this section, we will demonstrate the 100 meter outdoor scenario. The most important parameter we are focusing on here is EVM. The more value of EVM, the better transmission quality. Let's see how we evaluate the limb budget in this case. At first, we put a 4x4 B box and an UD box at the transmitter side. The input P1DB of up converter is about 10 dBm and the input P1DB of B box 1 is about 5 dBm. The beamforming gain is controllable and the maximum EIRP is around 40 dBm with 32 degree 3 dB beam width. The 100 meter distance free space loss is about 100 dB at 28 GHz. Next, at the receiver side, we have a A by A B box and a UD box. And the beamforming gain of B box is controllable as well. The maximum receiving gain is around 43 dB with 25 degrees 3 dB beam width due to A by A antenna array. And the input P1 dB of down converter is 10 dBm. Finally, we found out the SNR is too low to demodulate the signal at the best band. Therefore, some gain block could be inserted at specific point to compensate for the free space loss and enhance the SNR. By the way, the 5G NR platform that we used here is NIPXIE for both the generator and analyzer. Everything is all set. Let's see how it works. Enable the waveform generation with 5G NRFR2 protocol and 100 MHz bandwidth. Enable the signal analyzer to demodulate the 5G NRFR2 signal as well. Now we can see the transmission performance on the monitor. The EVM is around minus 25 dB now, which is not very well. In this case, we just use TMY tags amplifier between B box and UD box. Then we can adjust the beamforming direction for line of sight alignment and see if there is any better. Now we can see the difference after beam adjustment. The EVM is better. 
the best performance is around minus 32 dB. In this millimeter wave transmission experiment demonstration, you can see how easy it was to develop and set up whole experiment by using TMY tags, B box, and UD box. As demonstrated previously, the EVM is around minus 30 to minus 32 dB at a distance of 100 meter, and maybe even further. Here is another application scenario. Hi, my name is Malay, and I'm a solutions marketer for wireless research at NI. With NI and TMY Tech's collaboration, we want to leverage the NI USRB platform and open protocol stacks to enable researchers to quickly move new concepts from mathematical models to over-the-air millimeter wave testers. TMY Tech's rapid millimeter wave prototyping solution comprises of the BBBox 5G Beamformer and the UDBox 5G, an ultra-wideband up and down converter that can cover the 5G FR2 millimeter wave band. The millimeter wave solution can be paired with the NIHS X410 USRP, our latest and most powerful USRP yet. It has four transmit and four receive channels, and each can support up to 400 MHz of bandwidth. We hope the NI and TMY Tech's millimeter wave prototype system will enable wireless engineers to rapidly innovate and tackle some of the open challenges facing the commercialization of millimeter wave technology. Thank you. If you want to conduct the channel sounding, spectrum monitoring, or wireless transmission quality test in the flash. You are more than welcome to use TMY Tech's product in your experiment. Thank you for your attention. Stay tuned for another amazing OTA solution. Back to Ethan. The industry has a mature technology for testing one antenna over the air. However, there is arguably no deterministic methodology for testing hundred millions of millimeter wave array antennas. With multiple millimeter wave modules fitted in a smartphone to compensate the high directivity nature of millimeter wave array antenna. Device manufacturers are looking for a new way to validate and verify the performance of devices. Dr. Sam Wu TMI Tech Antenna Expert and Ted Lee is going to demonstrate how RX being to speed up OTA testing in the lab and in the fab. My name is Sam. I would like to share with you our unique millimeter wave OTA solution, the XB. Before we begin, I want to give you some general information on AIP and the challenge R&D personnel may run into. This is an AIP module with an antenna array powered by TNY Tech. We put a lot of technology onto a small piece of PCB with a 2x4 antenna element to realize millimeter wave analog informing. Compared to the traditional wireless design, the main difference is RF chip, traces, and antenna array are tightly combined onto a small piece of PCB and there is no RF connector for conductive validation. And the antenna array also provides multiple RF channels. So verify the RF performance for multiple RF channels will require extra verification time over the traditional antenna and the cost will also skyrocket. Therefore, the antenna and R performance of millimeter wave AIP is ideal to be verified through over the air. Recently, all chamber manufacturers in the market are actively investing in the design of OTA measurement chambers, whether it's direct far field, indirect far field, near field chamber. The OTA testing will require very long time because they all need to be mechanically rotated. In addition to this problem, there is the high cost of the chamber and the venue restrictions. Let me introduce to you our unique millimeter wave OTA solution, XBIM, featured with 100 times the mass production speed, literally. In this case, we integrate XBIM 3D into the home position machine for AIP performance inspection in mass production. I believe everyone will be amazed by the swift testing time. 
apart from testing the radiation pattern, gain, EVN, etc., we can also measure the beamforming characteristic of different angles in a very short time as well. And another solution we have is the MM Watson software. It can show the gain map or EVN map in a GUID. With the valuable data, it will be very helpful for the production line engineer to identify faulty DUTs. The MM Watson also works with many commercial analyzers, which is easy to integrate into your AT system. For our unique software and hardware design integration, you don't need to wait for a long time for 3D radiation pattern measurement, so the measurement cost will be greatly reduced. The effectiveness and compact size of our XBIN made the integration process seamless and easy. So it is very suitable for IC factories and semiconductor packaging testing facilities. The testing time is extremely brief, which can greatly increase the production output. And coupled with the assistance of MM Watson, analysis is not an issue and it helps optimize defects in the process to greatly improve the production yield. In general, the RF testing in the production line will use a horn or a single antenna as a measurement antenna and try to extract the RF parameters at a specific angle. However, the AIP design is different from previous sub-6 GHz. Think about the single antenna test method only measure the antenna peak gain but how does it make sure the AIP is fully functional? How do you define the torrent scope of power level? How do we ensure the phase difference of each element? I think it's hard to answer this question if you don't have a good tool. The basic design of AIP is antenna array. And the radiation pattern and beamforming of AIP would be affected by gain and phase. By checking the radiation pattern, it can find any problems the AIP may have. XBIN can solve this problem because it can get all the requirement information. And the testing time of one radiation pattern is amazingly less than one second. In addition to the production line test, the XBIN 3D is essentially an R&D secret weapon. Within one second of the testing time, XBIN 3D can help R&D efficiently verify the antenna performance. R&D can also test a large quantity of the device in a limited development time, and they can gain more confidence and accuracy from the obtained big data. We have integrated into a robotic arm with XBIN, allowing it to take white or black box testing in multiple angles without the need for a special feature. For mobile phone development, the 3D radiation pattern can be done in just 10 seconds this allows R&D personnel to easier debug and design an AIP. Think about that. If you are designing an AIP, you need to book company's chamber, which is usually full. A 3D pattern test time is more than one hour. And the 2D pattern is more than five minutes. Because of the project schedule pressure, you compromise and take a step back to measure the 2D patterns only. Remember that. When there is no chamber available in-house, you have to contact the third-party lab to book the chamber resource. You also need to define the test scope you want to measure and reserve the time for preparing the report. If you have XBIN, you are free of the above concern. The scanning time for 3D or 2D pattern is about 10 seconds and 1 second respectively. It's really fast. In addition to speeding up the test duration, it also allows you to quickly identify the root cause by using 3D pattern result when debugging. If your job is to test tons of the device in a limited project schedule, such as a product assurance engineer, XBIN will assist you to accelerate the minimum wave performance qualification for multiple products. If you fully implement XBIN into R&D and quality processes, find out if it is a packaging problem, broken IVIC or an environment issue, submit an AD report quickly to allowing you win the confidence of your customer. So the overall project schedule can be also improved to optimize the project. For XBIN series, we also create the XBIN 2D, 
a compact and portable version of XBeam. It allows you to integrate it into the test machine. The testing time of 2D pattern of XBeam 2D is about one second, which is similar to that of XBeam 3D. XBeam 2D is smaller and lighter than 3D, so it is easier to carry and set up in the production line. It can help reduce the inspection time of each device and improve the ear rate of minimum weight product. And you can say with confidence that test item has been completely tested. Time is money. The shorter the test time, the more testing can be done, which can bring more revenue to your company. I believe everyone is curious about which manufacturer instrument can work with XBIN. XBIN can support a powerful instrument from Keysai, Lightpoint, and Rizu. Apart from this, we will continue to expand the supporting instrument to meet your needs. And if you don't have the above minimal wave instrument in-house, TNY Tech UD Box can help upgrade the system and XBIN can work in tandem because they are 100% compatible. No doubt, TNY Tech XBIN is fast in testing and solve problems to win your success in developing minimal wave products. The sooner you integrate an XBIN, the sooner you become the leader of the pack. The wireless communication landscape is changing rapidly from 2G to 5G, from FM tower to satellite quantum communications. Scientists and engineers are pushing for higher frequency to be benefited from the wider bandwidth. The world needs more engineers to create solutions, build antenna, spark the next big thing. At TMY Tech, we created an extremely versatile toolkit to inspire the next generation of wireless engineers. Hedy Zhang, our educational solution expert, will demonstrate our developer kit and provide students the insight into minimum wave technologies. After a succession of amazing solution application, I believe you are ready to enter the millimeter wave market. Let's begin our journey into the future. Initially, you may have concerns about the cost of a millimeter wave equipment, but communication components are more expensive in general as the cost rises exponentially with its transmission ability. But will this pose a rollback for you to enter the millimeter wave market? Of course not. An antenna, beamforming ICs, an up-down converter and a baseband makes up a complete millimeter wave communication system. If you want to build a millimeter wave system or use it to create amazing applications, you will need not only the necessary equipment, but also the fundamentals. In order to design an antenna, you will need to understand why an antenna array is used in millimeter wave, what effects it has, and how to measure the beam pattern. Another important piece of equipment is the beamforming IC. It incorporates the necessary RF front end components such as power amplifiers, low noise amplifiers, phase shifters, and switches. Before building a complete system, you must understand the architecture, study the influence of these components, and calibrate the beamformer. The millimeter wave technology will be important in the future. I believe you have heard some amazing concepts such as metaverse and driverless vehicles. To realize these concepts, millimeter wave provides an excellent frequency band, but it still requires a significant amount of algorithm research and application development. Common application cases include millimeter wave radar, channel sounders, beam tracking, and beam refinement. The millimeter wave development is an inevitable trend in the coming years, and the market size will explode. The mission is obvious to develop and train talents. For the development of millimeter wave, the next generation of engineers will play a key role, and it is essential that engineering graduates are prepared for the principle, practice, and advanced research of related millimeter wave technologies. However, the cost of millimeter wave relevant components is prohibitively expensive. 
making practical operations difficult to execute and depriving students of hands-on experience with real-world applications. Don't worry, TMY Tech completely understands and has a dependable solution for you. Developer Kit is a complete and affordable millimeter wave training tool for lecturers, professors, and researchers. It provides complete millimeter wave components including beamformer, antenna array, millimeter wave signal source, millimeter wave power detector, and so on. With Developer Kit, students not only learn the relevant theory, but also a hands-on experience with real millimeter wave applications. It is an excellent entry-level kit for millimeter wave teaching, but it can also extend to advanced research with other options such as software-defined radio, up-down converter, antenna kit, and Raspberry Pi. A developer kit is also a good platform to help you quickly build a prototype for millimeter wave application development. For antenna array design, you can take advantage of the Beamformer's detachable feature to easily verify the antenna's performance and specifications. You can rapidly construct a millimeter wave communication system and integrate the necessary baseband equipment to create a prototype for advanced application development or algorithm research. You will see how the developer kit can open up new possibilities and efficiently drive your millimeter wave development. To speed up the millimeter wave teaching proposal, we have provided a complete toolkit and the prepared corresponding lab sheets. So far, lab sheets are ready for hands-on practical work. Contents of the lab sheet include the fundamentals of beamformer, channel scan and phase, constructive and destructive interference, beam steering, and measuring beam pattern. The developer kit eliminates the need for millimeter wave equipment such as signal generator, spectrum analyzer, vector network analyzer. Isn't the developer kit fantastic? Let me give you a quick rundown. In the beginning chapter, you will understand the beamformer's architecture and control the gain and phase of each channel, study the operation and relationship of the beamformer, learn about constructive and destructive interference, and learn how to perform practical in-phase calibration. It is a critical task in beamforming. You will be able to implement beamforming after a simple calibration. You will learn about beam steering theory, how to calculate the related parameters and apply them to a beamformer to form the expected steering angle, and how to implement beam steering. You will also be able to monitor and evaluate the antenna pattern. You will use the developer kit to perform a real antenna test and draw the results. We believe you now have a better understanding of what the developer kit is about after listening to the brief introduction. But is it enough? TMY Tech completely understands what's on your mind, and we have continuously been preparing extensive lab sheets to meet the needs of various applications, such as antenna and research, protocol and algorithm development, and so on. Finally, the millimeter wave technology is the key to future communication applications, such as 5G, beyond 5G, fixed wireless access, LEO satellites, ADAS, and so on. To meet the demands for talents and to reduce the threshold of millimeter wave development, we provide an affordable, flexible, and extensive tool, the TMI Tech Developer Kit. It allows students to experience first-hand millimeter wave application, assist professors in evaluating potential and advanced research, and even realize a full millimeter wave system. Are you looking forward to the millimeter wave revolution? Let's step into the future now. Dazzling? Don't be. Be exciting. Since day one, we have been developing millimeter wave solutions with our knowledge, experience, creativity, and passions to respond to the expectation from the industry and academics. Our goal is to see you succeed. With our solutions, Let's build more innovative 5G and SECOM products to reshape the future. I would like to thank you all for joining us today to explore MN Wave universe. I appreciate my colleagues for their demonstration. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Last but not least, thank you all our partners 
for their continued support. I'd like to thank everyone, in particular, assisting with this event and promotion of TMI Tech. TMI Tech will be celebrating our 8th anniversary in September. We are ready to take new tasks and responsibilities to help MM Wave industry to move further. Are you ready to explore the unknown of the universe with us? Go ahead and sign on our online demo. Connect the future with us. This is Alan Chen, Country Manager of Keysight Technologies Taiwan. Hello, I'm Xian Fu Chang, a full professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering. National Chongqing University. Hello, my name is Raja Pillai. I'm one of the field engineers and account managers working for Braymac. Hello, my name is Mike Noonan. I am the interim managing director of Siever Semiconductor Wireless Business. My name is Yuling Xiao. I'm the global technology director for DuPont Microcircuit and Component Materials Business. Hi, my name is Luis Alcido. I'm a solutions engineer at Solubib. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Yao Zheng. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Electrical Engineering, College of Engineering. Hi, my name is Mattia Mengozzi and I'm a PhD student at the University of Bologna. Hello, I'm Wolin Chen from Analog Devices. I'm an FAE covering millimeter wave products in Taiwan. TMY Tech is a young and energized company that is dedicated in millimeter wave technology development. TMY Tech is one of the leading providers of millimeter wave solutions to the market. They have been working in this emerging technology for quite some time now. They have created some very clever solutions to make millimeter wave development much easier. TMY Tech is an innovator. They are made of talented individuals and professionals who work together to provide cutting edge millimeter wave solutions in 5G, beyond 5G, and satellite communication applications around the world. TMY Tech is a game changer. They bring industrial inventions to market faster by redefining the methodology, refining the technology, and redesigning the products and solutions to benefit their customers and partners. They are dedicated to a more connected world. TNY Tech is a cutting edge company that provides solutions out of the box so you can innovate quickly. To deliver a highly integrated and user friendly software control RF modules to allow us to build up our experiment in a flexible way. TMY Tech is a trustworthy and innovative partner. The collaborations between Dupont MCM and TMY Tech have been very positive and focusing on addressing industry challenges and producing real results. I would highly recommend teaming up with TMY Tech to make a difference in the industry. I would say that TMY Tech is bringing an affordable millimeter wave solution to market without the need for having high-end box equipment by combining it with SDR platform. TMY Tech allows us to realize this setup in a very short time. Uh, this beamforming setup has definitely increased our measurement capabilities. It allowed us to access the world of 5G uh, over the air measurements with a very low effort. The TMI Tech engineers always give us handy assistance. I highly appreciate TMI Tech's excellent products and her energetic engineers to advance our research. And I look forward to collaborating and working with TMI Tech to address these challenges for millimeter wave and beyond um, with the emerging technologies. I'm looking forward to seeing TMI Tech next innovation and success together with Keysight. Thank you very much for our partnership. And I look forward to continuing to work closely with you a support team that is always ready to help, uh, providing the necessary software, files, uh, um, documentation and drivers in order to uh, run the uh, TMY instrumentation. Great work, Stintech. I love what I saw in your company. 
lively atmosphere there, passion for engineering, and what you can bring to solve customers' pain points. I wish TMY Tech a prosperous present and future. TMY Tech improve quality of life with minimal waste solution and technology. Accelerate innovation that connect the future.